So we have a scatter graph which shows the maximum temperature on the vertical axis here in degrees, degrees Celsius or centigrade if you like, and the number of hours of sunshine on the horizontal axis. Here we go. Um, and it's in 14 British towns on one particular day. Now let's just, before we answer the question, have a look at this. There seems to be a real trend here. Um, you might call it positive correlation although there is this point here, which is somewhat of an anomaly, or we might call it an outlier. Right, what are they asking us? Ah, one of the points is an outlier. Yep, I think we've identified that already. Write down the coordinates of this point. So uh, it's this point here, and if we look at that on the horizontal axis, that is 10, and on the vertical axis, that is 19. So it's 10, 19, because the horizontal axis always comes first. If it were the x-axis, that would be obvious. For all the other points, write down the type of correlation. Well, as we've already said, as one goes up, the other goes up. And so we've used this word already. It's positive. How do you spell positive? Not like that. It's positive correlation. Okay. Now, questions over the page. Here we go. On the same day, in another British town, the maximum temperature was 16.4 degrees. Estimate the number of hours of sunshine in the town on this day. Well, we're going to need a line of best fit to be able to do this. And lines of best fit are fun. Uh, you can use your ruler. And all you need to do is make sure there are about as many points above the line as there are below the line. And make it follow the data. So there's a nice straight line uh, through the data. And well, I remember it said 16.4. It did. So we simply uh, go up to 16.4 on the vertical axis. Well, there's 17, two little squares, uh, sorry, five little squares to one degree. So uh, one little square is 0.2. And so that will be 16.4 there and we simply read across there we go and then once we've hit the line we go down and that gives me my answer and again reading the scale that's 12 there same scale on this axis so that'll be 12.8 hours of sunshine so there we go that's good now a weatherman says Temperatures are higher on days when there is more sunshine. You can see why he became a weatherman. Very clever chap. Does the scatter graph support what the weatherman says? Well, yes, it does. Because apart from the outlier, which is an outlier, and so therefore we don't have to disregard it totally, but we don't need to include it in our argument. Apart from the outlier, um, it seems that The higher the or the higher the number of hours of sunshine. It's all right, taking a while to write this. The number of hours of sunshine, the higher the temperature. There we go. And yeah, it's positive correlation. They seem to have asked us the same question twice, really, but we're not going to complain because that gives us more marks. Well, one more mark.